hey my loves welcome back to another video and if it's your first time stopping by you were very very much welcome i realize that i don't really greet newcomers i'm so sorry for that you guys have a seat buckle up and let's go on this journey together so you're welcome so guys today we'll be doing a fashion review of the real housewives of lagos season 2 reunion you guys not only a fashion review we'll probably talk about like some of the things that like happened on the show it's gonna be fun <laughs> i mean season two was fun so yeah let's get started <laughs> three two one yeah. so guys some of the castmates were not present for some reasons best known to them Tiana from the video I saw it seemed like she wasn't feeling too well because her voice sounded rather off so I'd like to believe maybe it's like health issues and we know towards the ending of the show or at the ending of the show she wasn't present also just because she had to go for surgery um well trauma didn't really say why she was not going to attend but she said she was going to give us all the tea on her tiktok so we should stay tuned well Iyabo was like I think she posted something concerning how you know she spoke to her family and those people that mean a lot to her and they're like it's best she misses out blah 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 I mean oh I'm so sorry I almost forgot Tanya <laughs> I almost forgot Tanya I don't know Tanya's reason for not coming I haven't seen any posts or maybe she spoke about not coming but yeah I, I can't believe I almost forgot her like she's there but she's really not there but anyway I'm not surprised that Germany about no idea. To be honest, I felt like this season wasn't it for them. Not like it wasn't it for them, but for us the viewers, I mean they they gave us drama, they gave us a show, but I just felt like they could have done better. Like their attitude was it was just but anyways, let's get right into the video. So apparently the team for the reunion was Naja Old Kutori. So first on our list is Laura EKG. So her outfit was styled by Medlin Boss and Gabriel Anthony. And you guys, I don't know. To me, I didn't really see any bad outfit this reunion. Just probably because there are not much. Or there are not many, sorry, that went. But Nora does look nice. She looks so nice. I love this white dress and the cape with this flower, 3D flower design and the hair. It is giving Ninja Old Couture. I was actually going to say it's giving old Hollywood, but the theme is Ninja Old Couture and it is giving Ninja Old Couture. It does look nice. The hair, I feel like the hair complements the outfit very well. She looks so dashing. This season, I really liked Laura's energy. Unlike season one, where she had this dark energy, permit me to say, but season two, she had so much light. She was so bubbly. She was really fun and calm. I think that's the Laura we all know from social media, right? But I don't know what happened to her in season one, but season two, she was the Laura we knew. Bubbly, nice, you know, cool personality, just being cordial, exactly. Yeah, she looks really, really good. I love this outfit. The fit on her is amazing. She looks so dashing. Oh my days. I don't know. For some reason, she looks so good. Not like for some reason, but she does look really good. And she just had a baby. You guys, can you imagine? And she looks this good. Oh my days. That's so nice. Next on our list, we have Miriam Tima. Miriam, Auntie Miriam Adeyemi Tima. <laughs> this is in, I don't know. I don't know Miriam's energy was rather I don't know what it was giving Sha but it was giving it wasn't it wasn't all that to be honest and then her attitude towards Faith the new girl was just so off and I felt like she just I don't know if she was trying to be the drama I don't know if she was trying to like make headlines I don't know what she was trying to do Sha but um, <laughs> Miriam this season was not just it's for me and I feel like she was probably going through something personally right because maybe something at home because that fight scene that especially that fight scene that they had at ife when she was like unzip me unzip me <laughs> when she was like unzip me unzip me unzip me and she literally said unzipping herself and like her boobs came out. i was like girl bye like 
<laughs> Girl, by other people have been fighting. Every other person fought with their clothes on. Baby, why? Why is it your turn and then you want to remove all your clothes and trust your nakedness? Like, I feel like sometimes they forget that this is recorded and it's on the internet you know it's a show so it's gonna be there forever your kids are going to grow up and see some of these things like bro do you want your daughters to grow up and see you fighting to the extent that you're like unzip me unzip me and like your boobs are literally coming out like what that's so uncouth like that's so classless but anyways let's get right into the outfit to be honest miriam does look good i did not expect her to look this good but she looks dashing like she looks really good i love this dress this is probably my favorite outfit for the night i really really love this outfit the headpiece but the outfit like baby this outfit was this is this she did she did her thing with this you know when you look at the show some of the outfits she wears just seems i don't know it seems bigger than her body i don't know but yeah this outfit was styled by angie lumini couture baby she looks really good i can't really stress this enough i mean i can't like she looks so beautiful the dress is amazing the fit on her is amazing i give it to miriam because yeah i give it to her i think we all know why but she she outdid herself let's clap for her now next on our list is dr romel romel romelio the lie <laughs> Dr. Rumelia, liar, like, <laughs> told, um, told you in her video during the reunion, she was like, Dr. Rum you can't lie, like, <laughs> this shows that you can't lie. <laughs> it was so funny, but oh my, this guy can't lie, like, and my issue with this guy is the fact that he keeps trying to play innocent, like, babes, you can't lie. But anyways, let's get straight into his outfit. Um, he looks like himself, you know, trying to do too much. Um, he doesn't look too bad himself, but definitely not my favorite look. Um, but for a guy, I think it's quite decent. It's giving the couture, the ninja vibe, everything, everything. So I think we can work with that, Sha. I do not know who styled him. I'm not saying anything about that but he does look nice he doesn't look bad but the look is okay sham um yeah for his outfits on the show i feel like he kind of like needs to work on whoever was selling him during the show because i felt like he felt like he was slaying all the looks but he wasn't but let's talk a bit about dr romel baby like you guys whoever told him to play that script set him up for dragon because tell me why during the last episode he was doing all the line line and as he was lying they were they were playing everything back like if they did not show us the playback almost almost everybody would have fallen for it though but another thing with this guy is he was lying and his face was like he just had this serious face <laughs> that's how you know a professional liar like babe he was lying. he's like like she she said it like <laughs> like you are a pat and she, he was literally telling me, you're a pathological liar i'm like dr romeo or romeo whatever however you pronounce his name i really don't care that guy is so annoying to be honest he kind of like a disgrace to the lgbtq community i'm so sorry if that came out the wrong way but you guys need to throw him out because he's a very bad image and i don't know how people are still supporting him even after watching the show and seeing how he was definitely not being genuine i just find that crazy oh god i misspoke so now i misspoke you miss you miss you miss what misspoke nick bye 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 so last but not the least is our queen the six feet amazon goddess the queen herself the the calm queen because we need to study fit calmness seriously so she's putting us this beautiful red outfit by amy agomi i think that's how you pronounce it she looks stunning she always looks like a dream and oh we're both wearing red this flower headpiece or back piece whatever it's nice she looks like a garden it just reminded me of the first episode where she came she looks like a garden a red garden but with this dress i don't know is it actually supposed to be red and brown or or is it supposed to give the illusion of skin like 
I'm transparent, I'm skin, I'm see-through, mesh kind of something. Or is it actually supposed to be red and brown? I like to believe it's actually supposed to be red and brown because if it's supposed to give an illusion of skin, I don't really think they got it. But she looks good. I mean, she does always look good. She looks nice. Not my favorite look for the night, but she looks nice. Because to be honest, my favorite look is Miriam. She really outdid herself. But she does look nice. Let's, now, let's talk a bit about fit. Because, um, uh, this girl, she's who she thinks she is. She's who she says she is. <laughs> Everything that is in her head that she is. My dear, that's what she is. Like, when I watched that, like season two, seeing how calm fit was. Even that means people are these people are lying on your head. These people are being funny towards you, and you are still able. Oh um, more, hey hey! Please let's give Faith her flowers because she deserves it. Kudos to her for teaching us that. And what do you guys think about how they treated Faith in the show? To be honest, the way I saw it, it felt like. They were a bit intimidated. And let's talk a bit about Choma because that last episode, Choma just kept on talking about how, oh, they said you wanted to come for my crown. They said you wanted to come for my crown. What crown, babes? What are you talking about? What crown? Like, I don't get it. Like, I was just like, what crown is this girl talking about? Like, you want to come for my crown? You want to Like, what crown? Crown, the crown of being... The late comma always i was so lost what crown are you talking about don't get me wrong i really like choma i wish she had come for the reunion because her outfit would have eight right but this season she was not just it let's be honest with ourselves like babes what crown are, what like do you get it just, it was giving i'm looking intimidated by this girl but you know i'm going to keep my cool and you know come strong same as yeah because i don't really see why you know they had that type of energy towards yeah um faith sorry and especially the fact that Yabo already made, met Faith before the Miriam's event. <clears throat> Sorry, before Miriam's event at the garden. She gets so her seeing her at the garden and stepping on her train. At first, I thought it was like a joke, but then later, ah, with the attitude, I'm like, okay, this thing is probably not a joke, you guys. But only all, this season was actually nice. They gave us the drama. I can't wait for season three. I think Laura said she wasn't going to be part of season three. I feel like Yabo might not also be in season three. I'm not so sure. Sha, but you guys, only all, it was nice. It was a nice season. Everything was good. So, yeah. And kudos to Miriam for her outfit. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm still kind of new in this fashion review stuff, but um, there's always room for improvement. And you guys, if there's anything I'm lacking or I need to do better, y'all feel free to tell me down in the comment section. It's always open for you guys. And, you know, let's talk about the reunion. What do you guys think and the whole season in general? Y'all can put your comments down in the comment section. As I said, it's open. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to share like and subscribe if you are yet to and what else and turn on that post notification button so we can or you can see my videos every time i upload a new one thank you guys so much i really appreciate you guys watching my videos thank you bye